Yes. Before the Devi Puram temple was built, there is a small hillock where I used to sit and meditate. And there I had darshan of Devi Kamakya. Subsequently, in one of my meditations, I saw flames coming out of my body in that place and some people doing homa in that. At the end of the homa, they left something in the homa, which I felt as a heavy object in my heart. This prompted me to dig that place. And at that place, I arrived a yantra resembling a Shinchikra Mahameru, but not exactly that. It had some significant differences from the male. We can say it's a universal yantra belonging to all the religions because yantras resembling this, like the Sri Chakra of the Hindus, are there. In the Buddhist Mahayana Mandala, the yantras are there. In the Chinese Gang Shri, similar yantras are there. And the Egyptian pyramids are one form of this yantra. And the Christian Eurasian mysteries are also some form of this yantra are found. In fact, I have found that this yantra is a universal concept that is there in all the religions. Uh, there is one uh, person who used to maintain for four hours. His name was Bill Bidaspoon. He saw a huge Sri Yantra and he, in his meditation. And he built that Yantra in the Arizona desert, which was uh, one mile on, a, on each side. So, to every person who meditates, including Himalayan masters who meditated, this Yantra keeps appearing again and again and again in various religions, in various forms, and is worshipped as the source of the cosmos and source of all power. Oh, this can be kept anywhere, in the houses, because it connects itself to all the other Yantras in the world through its Bindu, and it attracts the organizing and rubbing and peace vibration from wherever they are in the world. And it is a, it's a good thing to keep in hospitals because of its healing properties. It's a good thing to keep in offices because it attracts the wealth and abundance and organization in the office. It's good to keep in public places because there will be an aura of grandeur and peace coming from this yantra and uh, it will be useful as a good corporate gift which organizes the lives of all the employees. So it's a universal symbol which can be kept everywhere and anywhere. You can do pujas if you wish to, but uh, it does not mean that it needs puja. Because when it is taken from the Guru's hand, it's already energized with these uh, vibrations and powers. And uh, since it connects itself to all the similar yantras in the world, it continuously receives vibrations from all over the world. And uh, including the cosmic centers of uh, of power, it receives the abundance and grace from those things and redistributes that. So by itself it does not need any puja as such. However, the nature of its vibrations that it radiates can be enhanced very positively if you play some soft music in the place where it is kept. So this is usually happens, this usually happens in, in the entrance lobbies of corporate offices, in hospitals and such places where soft music is also played, which uh, brings about a peaceful attitude as people who enter that place. Mm. 
Yes, this question is there and uh, it has been made intentionally hollow. The reason being that when the Guru gives the yantra to the person, he puts all life-giving substances, the roots and herbs into that, energizes them, seeds them off and then gives that. It's for that purpose that this uh, yantra has been kept hollow. So many questions have been raised about the hollowness of the yantra. When I built the Sri Chakra Meru temple in Devi Puram, people complained that it was hollow. Yes, it is hollow. It has to be hollow. There is no other way that, that it can be hollow. Why is it hollow? Because it's, it's supposed to represent a Vyat Chakra, the chakra in the space. Even if you, you have to make it totally solid, which you think you have made it totally solid, it still is composed of atoms and molecules. These atoms and molecules have nucleus in the center, which are like the sun in a solar system, and the electrons orbiting around it. And most of the space, 99.9% .9 of that is hollow. You have to have the space filling the whole thing. And it's not true to say it has to be solid, because I think that it's really solid. Even if you were to go into the nucleus, still that's not solid. It consists of strange particles and the from the particulate matter, the things that are made of, the actual nucleus is very hollow. Inside that, it is, uh, it's all probability waves that are driving through that. And uh, this concept of somehow that the thing has to be solid, uh, doesn't really stand in the in light of uh, scientific uh, views. This yantra represents the the cosmic power manifesting itself through living beings. The life itself is the uh, it derived from the yantra. And when it, kept, when it is kept in the home, it enhances the quality of life of the, all the people living there. So, actually, the temples that are made by human beings are out of rocks and cement and uh, steel and bricks and things like that. The temples that God has made are the bodies of the human beings themselves. So, in a sense, your uh, own body is a Shichakra, is a Chakra, is the Yantra, in which the awareness, the, the Goddess lives. So, if you can live in your body, if your awareness can live in your body, why can't it live in your form? So, these fears are induced by people who are uh, orthodox. Uh, Brahmin community who are insisting that the power should be kept with them mostly and uh, we have to get, uh, get over this barrier of uh, fear because we want to share the power with everyone and we want to give the power to everyone. So it is gifting of the power that is involved in gifting of the Sri Chakra here, the Yantra here. So you have no fear whatsoever. It can be kept provided of course it has to come from a, a person who is very intentioned because this life force goes into that and secondly it has to be accurate. There are many unique pieces of this that distinguishes it from the normal Shri Chakra. The normal Shri Chakra you find even in the pyramidal form the triangles are not well formed in the sense that you only see star shapes and not the triangles. Here, there is a level difference between the triangular shape and the and the other shape, which is uh, uh, like a, a, a diagonal uh, square, a diamond kind of square. So there is a level difference between this. It distinguishes from the normal chakra. And in the plan view also, you see the formation of the triangles very, very clearly. That's one thing. And second thing is, this is very unique in the sense that a lot of care has been uh, spent in making it an accurate yantra. The accuracy comes from the definition of the yantra, which is found in the text, in the religious, in the Hindu, uh, Chakra defined text and the Vajrayana Buddhism texts and other texts that there are certain number of uh, lines, three lines where they intersect, they are going to intersect in a point. 
because the Sri Yantra, the Yantra represents the cosmic forces and each triangle is a yoni, the source of the living form. And the, the cosmic code, the genetic code is represented by this Yantra and uh, if you have this unnecessary triangles, uh, where three lanes are supposed to intersect, if they are not intersecting and if there is a triangle form, then that triangle will become source for uh, some new kind of force which is undefined. So usually, when it tamper the genetic code of uh, something, you don't know what kind of an animal you are going to create out of this. So it's very uh, stringent requirement in the Sri Chakra or in any yantra that the angles and the intersections of three lines should be accurately defined. This yantra is unique in the sense that uh, where are three lines are intersecting, they are intersecting exactly within three decimal places. There. You can't make out that they are not intersecting at all. That is the, we have spent a lot of time, about uh, more than nine months in checking out the precision of this yantra that we made in Bangalore with uh, uh, Mr. Srikant Welling, who was the ex-director of uh, Insta Machine Tools, uh, an organization that prioritized accuracy in testing and has been made on his personal supervision and under my guidance. It has taken a lot of time and we have spent a lot of time and effort in making this an excellent uh, fault-free yantra. And it is coming from the hands of a guru who has got initiated directly from Kamakhya Devi in Devi. That's its uniqueness. Limited number of copies of these things are being made by Shivji Trust. It's like a designer uh, thing, you know, you got a price tag on it. And there are many sizes you are making it in. Uh, 10 inches by 10 inches by 5 inches is one size. 5 inches by 5 inches by 2 and a half inches is another size. And other smaller sizes are also available. And we are making them available in small, small quantities. We are also trying to make ceramic wires which are made out of earth, added to high temperature and they will be available at a lower cost in a, a much larger quantity. But the designer kind of mirrors can be made in bronze, can be made in gold, can be made in uh, panchaloha, can be made in silver coated with gold, all kinds of possibilities like this. Uh, we would prefer the bronze, which is a mixture of copper and uh, tin rather than the panchalaha, which they say they put gold, but usually it doesn't happen. It's mostly a brass thing, which is uh, coated with gold, which is being palmed off as panchalaha yantra. But we are avoiding that. See, when you use a, a zinc and a tin mixture, which is uh, called brass, and it oxidizes, it reduces the color of zinc, which is black. Whereas if you take a bronze, which is copper and tin, then when it oxidizes, it reduces the color of tin, which approximately is of silver. So a bronze mirror, when it is left and unattended, it gets oxidized, it uh, looks silvery. Whereas if you have a so-called panchaloha, which you get uh, the outer gold layer washes off, and it turns black, you know it's made out of brass and it's made out of copper and zinc. So we avoid this problem by keeping it permanently either gold or like silver, which, are, which is the best combination which I feel personally, which of course for big temples and other such places, we can go in for pure gold or gold and silver mix. So, all these possibilities are there and the modes which have made allow us to manufacture these things to any presentation that people want. Thank you. Regarding the accuracy, I want to show you this meru and where this accuracy comes into the picture. See, if you take this line here, it goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And that is, uh, these diagonal lines are there, like that like this, like this, and these horizontal lines are there. For example, if you consider this line, there is one intersection of this line, in this line, and this line at this point. Similarly, there is one intersection at this point. 
even earlier they are divided into centimeters. Fine. So like that, there are about 28 intersections of where three lines are joined together. And if you look at it exactly vertically from the from the sun, then you see that the, these three lines, this line, this line, and this line, are intersected exactly at this point. Now, for sake of demolding, this uh, this line has not been kept exactly vertical. So, if it is exactly vertical, it cannot come out as a single piece. So, we have to mm, normally use a four degrees angle to from this point to this point for the demolding taker, but we have managed with one and a half degrees only. So, it is as accurate as uh, we can make it, and it, the uh, actual intersections are at this point to within three degrees, uh, uh, actually three decimals of uh, accuracy. And at this point, um, for sake of the for demolding, we had to, in, 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 to shift this by one degree. So this is regarding the accuracy of the Yantra. So normally, when you look at the, the vertical um, the plan view of this uh, Yantra, you find that this, uh, these triangles are not clearly demarked in the normal Meru's which the people said. But here you find, because there is a a height difference between this plane and this plane, you find that this triangle formation is clearly visible, even from the plan view. So this height difference is what makes it unique compared to normal shear that you find in the market.